You don't need any more bread. But I want more. I said, no, I'm an adult. I can have more bread if I want. No, you can't. Why? Just tell me why I can't have more bread. Because I said so. You aren't listening to me. I'm hungry and want more bread. You wouldn't be if you had ordered the veal. Yes, I would. I always am, but you'd never let me have more bread. Tonight, I get more. I want some more bread too. No, you've had enough. No, I really think I want more. Well, you are wrong. <laughs> you seem upset. That's because you people aren't listening to me. No, no. Yes, we are. We just don't care. We want more bread. My dad, to me, while well, trying not to laugh at how absurd this is, you aren't helping. I think you want more bread too. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, as of today, we are only a few thousand subscribers away from hitting 100k. For those of you that don't know, when we hit this insane milestone, I'll be doing a full face reveal. So if you want to see this face without the blurs, you better subscribe right now. Anyway, let's get into today's r slash entitled parent stories. Crazy entitled aunt and the Italian restaurant. This one is more funny and entitled rather than infuriating and entitled. Well, I for one am ready to laugh at some entitled parents. My immediate family was, for the most part, perfectly normal and boring. We were not prone to outbursts and tantrums. It was very calm and quiet. Everyone got along and we were pretty happy with our boredom. I tell you that so you understand that I'd absolutely no experience at all with people prone to screaming fits. You should also know that I suffer from a case of terminal morbid curiosity. I also don't give a dang. Never did, never saw the fun in it. I respect that. This happened when we were visiting for great auntie's funeral. I was 12. My crazy aunt insisted that we all go out to dinner at her favorite Italian restaurant. It was just the best. She said so and she was never wrong. The gimmick here was a little flag of Italy on the table. When you wanted more dinner rolls, you raised the flag. This is important. Flag up, you get rolls. Flag down, no rolls. Remember that. The six of us are seated. They take our drinks order and bring the bread basket. The cast has a new member. PU for my poor, long-suffering uncle who will one day be made a saint for being married to my crazy aunt for over 20 years. It started with the drinks order. We'll have five sweet teas. But my dad said, I'll have a Coke. As did my mum. I'll have a Coke. And for me, tea, no sugar. This is a mortal sin in the South. Don't be silly, you can't have sweet tea without sugar. Well, I don't like sugar. That's stupid, bring her sweet tea. The waitress winked at me. Yes, mom. I think I'd like a Coke as well. I'd like a Coke. But the crazy aunt said, we drink Pepsi, not Coke. We are having sweet tea. The waitress brought us our requested drinks. The CA was growing agitated. Now, as you may have already guessed, this crazy aunt likes to control everything and everyone. So she told us what to order for dinner. I'm not going to get into an ethical debate here, but I refuse to eat veal. She demanded we all have the veal and I refused. I knew this would set her off, but oh well, I'm not eating veal. My parents parents, after I had explained to them years earlier why I wouldn't eat veal, refused to eat it as well. Did I mention I get my I don't give a dang quality from my parents? Well, they don't give one either. They were perfectly capable of ordering whatever the heck they wanted, so they did. I had lasagna, it was good, my mother's was better. Once we ordered what we wanted, it emboldened PU and he stepped out of line and ordered something else as well. However, the crazy aunt was not having it. You are getting the veal. No, I feel like something else tonight. The veal is the best. I still want something else. You won't like it. I'm sure I will. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I like. Well, you can't have it. Yes, I can. I said no. Well, I'm ordering it. You always get the veal. Because it's your favorite and you make me. I don't even like Italian food. I've just got a picture of this poor uncle being dragged along to Italian every week and him just despising the entire evening. Yes, you do. It's your favorite. Oh, and of course, this crazy aunt knows exactly what her husband wants all the time. I want the lasagna. Dang it, P.U., order what I tell you to order. No, lasagna. Emily, who is the crazy aunt's daughter, says, I'll have the lasagna too. You can't have that, you're allergic. No, I'm not. 
I'm your mother. I know what you can and can't eat. So the crazy aunt says to the waitress, bring her the veal. So not only does this crazy aunt know exactly what her husband likes, but she also knows that her daughter is allergic to something, even though she isn't. The whole time this is going on, I'm looking from one to the other like watching a tennis match, back and forth, with the pitch of her voice getting more and more shrill with each sentence. I was fairly certain that when we left, bats would have been summoned. I'm just watching them and eating a dinner roll. The food arrives and everyone got what they wanted, even Emily, much to the fury of CA. Then it happens. PU raises the flag. CA puts it down, PU puts it back up. CA takes it back down, up and down, up and down. I see the bread guy hovering at the edge of the table, waiting. The flag goes up and he rushes in to drop off the new basket before it can go back down. The crazy aunt grabs the basket and throws it at the kid that delivered it. To save time and typing, every time the crazy aunt speaks, the flag goes down. The rest of the time, it goes back up. You don't need any more bread, but I want more. I said, no, I'm an adult. I can have more bread if I want. No, you can't. Why? Just tell me why I can't have more bread. Because I said so. You aren't listening to me. I'm hungry and want more bread. You wouldn't be if you had ordered the veal. Yes, I would. I always am, but you'd never let me have more bread. Tonight, I get more. I want some more bread too. No, you've had enough. No, I really think I want more. Well, you are wrong. <laughs> you seem upset. That's because you people aren't listening to me. No, no, yes, we are. We just don't care. We want more bread. My dad, to me, while I'm trying not to laugh at how absurd this is, you aren't helping. I think you want more bread too. At this point, the whole dang place is watching our table and the battle over the flag. I'm fairly sure there were people taking bets to see who would win. In the middle of the confusion, a nice lady sitting at another table nearest Emily tapped her and slipped their fresh bread basket to her. Emily took a roll and slipped it to me. I took one and slipped it to my father. Then it went to my mother who, after taking a roll for herself, slipped one onto my poor uncle's plate. My crazy aunt saw it and grabbed for it, but PU was faster. He shoved the whole thing into his mouth at once. It was a big roll. The waitress approached the table to check to see if we needed anything. Xanax was unfortunately not on the menu and the crazy aunt demanded she bring the check. I want dessert chocolate cake sounds great i'll have some me too i'll have apple pie i'll have cheesecake bring cheesecake for crazy aunt she loves cheesecake no we are not having dessert we are getting the check and leaving now all right so despite the fact that is it five people want dessert ca has total rule and we need to go back now yep yeah, so it's op the uncle emily dad and mom and still they're gonna leave that is the logic of a crazy entitled aunt right there my dad says no we aren't leaving well i'm leaving you can all walk home i drove it's our car. I know. Give me the keys. Nope. You have to give me the keys. I live here. You are just visiting. Yes, I'm just visiting with my family in our car. But it's my state. All right, so at this point, is the aunt saying that the entire state belongs to her so she can do what she wants? I don't care. It's my car and you can't have it. You're a terrible driver anyway. No, I'm not. You drive the wrong way on the freeway. No, I don't. It's the other cars going the wrong way. You get lost in your own neighborhood. Not always. Look, you are not driving my car. Yes, I am. No, you aren't. That, ladies and gentlemen, continued while we ate dessert and paid the check. My father was buying. Why does that not surprise me? Something tells me that the crazy aunt has never paid for her own meal. We walked to the car and for the entire trip back to their house, my father drove. We dropped them off and went back to our hotel room. My dad asked, has your sister always been this crazy? No, it started when she was about three. Really? What happened? 
she started speaking in complete sentences. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I just gotta say thank you to this guy for posting such a hilarious story. This is probably the funniest entitled parents post I've ever read. I've left a link to this post in the pinned comment, so go over there, comment on this post, tell him you came from the channel, and say how funny this story was. Anyway, that is the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed that story. I certainly did. If you want more, subscribe. We're so close to 100k and i'll see you all tomorrow with some more r slash entitled parents posts